Hi guys, this is a video on Windows tips. This time I'm talking about the Run dialog box and how it can be useful for several things. So this is what a Run dialog box looks like. How can you get to it? Start and then Run. Or Windows Vista users can type it into their search bar, the commands into their search bar. Or you can right click Properties if you're a Vista user, Customize, Advanced. And then Start Menu Items, you'll see something like Run Command. Just make sure that's ticked and then you can use it like the rest of us can. So, this is the run box, it's very very powerful. Uh, we'll start by saying using run for quick program access. Now, you want to find out where it searches to begin with, so the default folder, if I show you, it, you just press dot and press enter, and you'll notice that this is your default folder that it starts in. Um, so if I was to type in, say for example, cookies into the run box, it opens up my cookies folder but if I was to type something on my root drive such as ACS it doesn't open the folder because it's not in its default folder so if you type in dot dot into here it goes one up from your default folder so I was in C documents Duncan but it actually went to here with the dot dot command and dot 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 opens up my computer so that may be useful if you want to do that fairly quickly so, oh, yes, yeah, so you're using run for quick program access. We also need to go into the command prompt to just for, so I can show you that, that to get to some of these programs, it, it uses something called the path. And this is the path. It shows you all the different things that it searches through, these different folders it searches through, to find executable commands to run your programs from, from, the, command, from the run prompt. Um, there's also another thing it searches through, and that's a registry uh, key, uh, a registry entry, which has loads of different programs, but I'll show you that in a second. So, using run for quick program access, yes, okay, let's begin. So, if I want to run Notepad, type in Notepad, and it runs. If I want to run Paint, MS Paint, and it runs Paint. If I want to run uh, anything else like, uh, for example, if I want to run Notepad, and open it with a file, you can actually drag a file into the run dialog box and it will add itself in. So then I'm running notepad opening random.txt. So there is actually a list on the internet which has a full, uh, well I say full, his fat has discovered 156 useful commands that you can do on, on Windows XP or below or whichever. Um, I'll provide the link in the description. If you run Windows Vista, he's found 177. So there's quite a few commands you can run using the run command prompt, but I'm not going to go through all of them basically because I don't have time. So using run for browsing my computer, well, you saw me type in that folder, but you can also go to the root folder by typing C, which is what you saw in the address bar before. And then you see it's auto completed it for me, so I can search through all the different things. So documents and settings and then Duncan, which is where I was, and then cookies. You know, spot me to open it, and then you can then open the folder again, and it will open it as it did before. So, deleting the run history. So you go start run, regedit, which is a registry editor. We're going to go, we're going to reset this down up to the my computer, because you can then do a find, or press F3, whichever you want to do. Looking for run MIU. Find next. Uh, C Cleaner can also do this crap cleaner. You can download it. I'll provide the link in the description as well. But that that can clean your run list. But we're just going to do it manually for the second. So it's opened Run MIU. That's the key. A lot lots of people tend to put write the keys where you can find them. But it's best to just choose the last one and then just search for it and register it. It's a lot quicker. So if you scroll on through loads of things, but you'll notice it says Cookies, Notepad, other things I've typed in. You can then just delete all the ones except default and then you'll notice if I go and say something like cookies again it hasn't remembered what I've typed before so that's handy if you don't want people seeing what you've typed into your run box um, adding your own programs to run there's two ways to do this one way is through again with regedit if we go all the way back up to my computer and if you look for something called app pass now this is the other thing that run searches through to get to your programs for you to be able to open them. You can actually add your own ones here. 
There's another way I will do after this, so if you don't want to mess about with the registry editor, I'll show you another way. So here we are in Apps Paths, and there's a plus button next to it. Click that plus, and you'll notice that there's loads of different things here, such as Firefox and things like that. So I'll talk about CCleaner. CCleaner's here, and so that must mean typing CCleaner into Run means, of course, it runs CCleaner, so that's very handy to have. So you can have a look through here. These are all the things that are installed on your computer which you can run from the run box. So what if you want to add your own? For example, I can't start XChat from the run box because it's not in the default folder, it's not in the path. I'm going to just cannot find XChat and it's not in here either. So we can add a new one, new key, type in xchat.exe or, or the name to any program you have. And in the default, you want to type in where it's located. So C program files. For me, it's C program files, xchat, and then xchat.exe. So now that's in here, it's here. So now when I go into the run and type in xchat, it actually starts my program. Now there is another way you can do this. If you don't want to mess about with registry settings, you just type in dot again. So we're now in this default folder, and then you can create, if you, you can copy from your start menu, you just create a shortcut inside this folder. So now when I run xchat, if I rename it to something else, xchat2, so then when I type in xchat2 to the run box, it runs it again because the shortcut is here. So that's another useful thing to do. Um, there's a program called uh, find, find and Run Robot, so you double click this. Uh, it's downloadable, it's from donationcoder.com. Uh, Windows Vista won't find any use for this because your search bar does it anyway. Uh, but I'll provide the download link so you can type in xchat or something like that and you notice it will find it straight away or you can type in I don't know something control panel add address book or something I don't think it does the control panel actually but volume control boost your volume control so that's find a run robot might be useful to some people googling from your run box now all you have to do this doesn't work in Firefox unfortunately uh, I've just been trying it out myself you, if you can find and make a shortcut to Internet Explorer, we're going to go properties on it, and we're going to type in on the end from the target www.google.com forward slash search and then a question mark, a Q, and then equals. So this is the query box for this is a query for uh, Google search. So you press OK for this, and we're going to rename this to Google. So now, if I want to Google for something, it will open up Internet Explorer, hopefully, and search it on Google. So you see, it searched it on Google. Now, unfortunately, it's got a space here. Uh, not sure why it does that, but it doesn't make any difference to your searches. I'm not sure if I could type in, because if, if I type all in one go, it will assume it's a program, and then it won't let me do it. So. It, it just has a space there but it converts it to percent %20 and I think that's the reason it doesn't work in Firefox but for very quick Google searches just make a shortcut in your default directory call it Google and then you can do things like that so that's about it really this is the things you can do with the run box uh, I don't know if I show you Windows XP users have an entire uh, website on, do, devoted to run commands that you can use and Vista users have an entire one. So we've got 177 for Vista users and 156 for XP users. So I recommend you check those out. I'll leave the links in the description and the link to find and run robot if you want to use that. Uh, thanks for watching my video and please rate and subscribe.